Hey everybody, welcome back to Art Class. It's me, Matthew Reinhardt. I'm your art teacher today. We're gonna make a really cool art project. Um, you know, I like parties a lot. I love parties. I know it's hard to, right now it's real tough to, to even have in, at parties, but you can decorate your place like a party, right? You can decorate, and we're gonna make a tissue paper. This is tissue paper. We're gonna make a, a tissue paper honeycomb decoration. We're gonna make our very own today. And, um, oh, I can't wait to make one of these. It's really fun. Actually, I've used this in my books before. Let me show you where I've used it. Okay, I found it. In this book here, it's really cool. Um, there's a dragon that uses honeycomb tissue paper. And I, I actually, when I made this pop-up, I went uh, to Chinatown. That's when I lived in New York City. And I went to Chinatown and, and um, I saw these really cool decorations that had dragons and they used this t honeycomb tissue paper. And that's what inspired this pop-up. It's pretty cool, huh? Um, anyways, that's in my Dragons and Monsters pop-up by Candlewick. Anyways, um, little plug there, right? Uh, <laughs> anyways, we're going to make our very own uh, honeycomb tissue paper um, decoration. We're going to make a big ball. And I think I might also teach you how to make like the long sort of garland as well. But we're going to, the main one we're going to make today, we're going to make a big tissue paper uh, honeycomb decoration ball. Okay, you really, you ready to get started? Ooh, I can't wait. Okay. So here's what you need to make our tissue paper honeycomb decoration. First, we, we're gonna need some um, tissue paper, and this is just regular old tissue paper, any color you want. Um, and you're gonna need at least 10 pieces. All right, so um, tissue paper. We're gonna need, let's see, a piece of cardstock that's eight and a half by 11. Um, we're gonna also need a piece of like scrap cardboard. This is gonna be our, um, what we, we um, use as sort of a base to, uh, to do things. Um, and it needs to be about as big as eight and a half by 11 sheet. All right, so that's just a scrap piece of cardboard. Um, you're gonna need some sort of string. Um, you can either use thread or um, you can use you know, any kind of string. I got silver string because I'm fancy that way. Um, scissors, of course, uh, sharpened pencil. Does that look sharper to you? I might need to sharpen it again. Um, some glue and make sure that your glue is in a squirt bottle that works uh, and eh, see, I got a little, is it I'll have to fix that. Um, a glue that you're going to need, and it needs to be able to squirt a very thin line of glue. Okay, so we're going to need that. Um, ooh, we don't need tape. But we do need a ruler, and we might also be using um, a hole punch. If you have a hole punch, that would be cool. Okay, did I say scissors? I can't remember if I said so. I'm pretty, pretty sure we always need scissors, right? Okay. I think that's it. Ooh, are we ready to get started? Oh, we need some markers too. We need two different color markers. Not, not four, two, two. So we need two different color markers and let's get going. Okay, first up, what we're gonna need to do is mark on a piece of paper, on a piece of cardstock, we're gonna have to mark um, a, a four, I'm gonna just write it down so you can see it, four inches by eight inches, four by eight rectangle. So let's do that. Let's use our ruler right now. Let's zoom in. So there's our number. That's what we have to make. Let's make sure that we can do this right. Use our ruler. Let's see, I'm gonna mark it here. No, 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 here. Give me your pencil. That's four inches. And just to be safe, I'm going to mark it over here too. Let's see, one, two, three, four. And I do that so that I don't, if I measure it sometimes this way and there isn't something on the opposite side, sometimes I could measure it like that, oops. But this way we get it straight across. Okay, so we've measured four inches, just like that. But that distance from here to here, that's not eight inches. What is it? Let's measure it. It's eight and a half because it's a regular piece of paper. So we're going to mark it here and we're going to mark it up on top too, just so we have it square, just like that. All right, there is our four by eight rectangle. Let's cut it out. Mm -hmm. And there's a reason why we're gonna make this a four by eight rectangle, because what we're going to do is we're actually gonna have to, our, our um, decoration is gonna be a ball and it's gonna be four, it's, it's radius is gonna be four inches which is this distance from here. And, um, 
when you're making a, a circle, the radius, well, I'll show you what the radius of a circle is. I don't want to get too crazy with it. But we, this is the first thing we want to do, okay? This is a four by eight rectangle. We've got it. All right, we got this. Cool. We're going to trace this onto our cardboard. Gosh, I'm slow with words today. Let's move over here. You can do this in pencil. You can do this in pen. It doesn't really matter. We just want to have, we're making sort of a, a, a base plate that we're going to work from and how we're going to glue, it's how we're going to glue our um, tissue paper together. So we need sort of a base to build it off. Okay, we traced it. There's our, there's our, um, 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 our cardboard. And now what we're going to need to do is we're going to make some lines, okay? We're going to make, we're going to start off with a line in the center that goes kind of like this. And these are just our marker spots. And I'm just going to put a, mm, 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 just to make it look pretty. Okay, there's going to be one there. And we're going to make, let's see here. Let's see, do one there, do one there. Let's do one more here. Kind of like this. And we're going to do another one kind of like this. So we've made these lines. Now these are going to be our glue lines. And then, and, and what's going to happen when we're making this tissue paper is, uh, when we're connecting the tissue paper with the honeycombs, every other sheet will follow a line to glue on the green. And then the second, sh the, and then the other sheet, every other one, will have um, where the red is. So we're going to switch between the two. And we're going to make a bunch of sheets of tissue paper that are exactly this size. So we'll lay on our piece of tissue paper and we'll glue this way. And then we'll lay another one on top of that and we'll glue it this way. And we'll do it over and over again. This is our, our template base, pa base plate that we're going to build the honeycomb tissue paper thing on. Okay, now we've got our tissue paper here. And I've got like, hmm, let's count how many pieces I have. One, two, three four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, whoa, twelve, thirteen. Thirteen pieces all in a row. I think I only need, let's, let's start out with, let's take three away. Let's just, one, and I have different colors, but you don't have to do different colors. You can do whatever you like. Um, yeah, let's take two of these away. And we want to make sure it's nice and flat. We've got all this, this stack of tissue paper together. And what I'm going to do on this end here, I'm just going to fold this over real quick to kind of keep our tissue paper in place because it can fly all over the place because it's so, it's so light. It's so light. Is there something heavy that I can put on there? Hmm. What do I got? What do I got? Hmm. Just gonna look for something. Oh, I'm gonna use one of my big. Look at this tape dispenser. This is on my desk. I'm just gonna hold this down over here. And what we're gonna do is remember this four by eight piece of um, cardstock that we made. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna trace it on top of this big stack of tissue paper. Make sure that you know they're pretty lined up. I mean, there's. We're gonna move it in just a bit. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to just use my pencil and I'm going to, oops, hey, pens, get out of there. They want some attention, those pens. Let's move, let's see here. I'm going to get close to the edge, but I'm not going to be it on the edge because they're all buried underneath here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to trace this just like this and make a rectangle shape on the edges. So what we're going to need, we're going to need to make... this rectangle there, see, just like that. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hold it kind of in the center just like that and use my scissors. Let's see if I can pull back so you can see a little bit better. I'm gonna cut this out so that we have, and it's real easy to do when you just use about 10 sheets. You could, you could go thicker if you want. What we're gonna do is we're gonna need to make about 40 sheets that are this size. So I'm going to start off this. Keep it together. You know what? To keep that together so it doesn't fly all over the place, you know what I might do? I wonder if I have some paper clips. That'll help. 
gonna use some paper clips just to clip that edge, keep it in place so it doesn't fly all over the place. See, yeah, so now it's clipped in place. And then I'm gonna cut this out on the bottom. Okay, now that's free. Now we just gotta do that bottom edge. Let's keep it real flat if we can. Just like that. Okay, so I've made 10 sheets and they're all clipped together. 10 sheets that are all ready. So I need to make, let's see, one, two, three, four. I need to make four more of these. So let's do that. Okay, so we we cut our tissue paper into four by eight rectangles, and I've got about forty of them here. You can you can do more. You could do less. Uh, um, I would I would do at least um, forty to fifty different sheets for this project. Okay, so it's not too hard, especially if you stack up your tissue paper like I did. You 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 can do ten to fifteen sheets at a at a cut. So it's pretty easy. All right. Now, let's get our template. Where's our cardboard? Cardboard template. There we are. So now, here, this is the, this is the part that we're really gonna need to pay attention for. All right, what we're gonna do is we're gonna lay down our first sheet. And, and it's gonna need, you're gonna have to have a little patience with this, but um, we're gonna lay down our first sheet and see how it fits exactly in our rectangle. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna start with the green and we're gonna glue it along the green lines first, okay? Um, but we need our glue. Let's get started. All right, now when you're using the glue, it, it doesn't have to be in a container like this. It can be just regular um, white craft glue, like Elmer's glue or whatever, as long as it has a nozzle that you can squirt with. I just have this in my studio because that's what I do. So first we're gonna gl make glue lines along the green. So let's start. Green lines, one, two, three. All right. And then we're gonna Use our next sheet. We're gonna lay it right on top, just like that. Make sure it's nice, make sure it's lined up. See, it glues them out automatically to it. Now what do we do? We glue on the red lines. So you just have to remember to alternate. See, there's two. And now let's move over. Let's add another one on top, just like that. You just have to keep track of which one you did last time, right? But you should be able to see the glue sticking to that piece right, right underneath it. And try, and, if you can, to make it as flat as you can. There's one, two, three. Put on the next sheet. And now, on this, this time, Make sure it's nice and flat. One, two. Lay it on top. You gotta be careful not to, to just lay it on top and then move on to the next one. Be real careful. There we go. And now, one, two, Three. And lay on the next piece. So let's do this for all these sheets. It's gonna be boring if you see me do it like this. So let's speed it up. Okay, so we just finished gluing this together. All, we sandwiched together 40 different sheets, and remember we alternated all the glue lines, right? All right, let's put this away. Let's let this dry nice and flat. If you want, you can 
Um, just make sure there's no glue um, exposed so it doesn't glue to anything, but we're just gonna put it over here, let it flatten out. All right, next we're gonna need to make a circle that is a, um, has an eight inch diameter, which means it has a four inch radius. Okay, do you know the difference between radius and diameter? Well, let me show you. I'll, sh I'll use this scrap piece of paper. All right, what we're gonna do is we're gonna make a circle and we're, gonna, we're actually gonna make two half circles. So this going all the way across, that's the diameter, and that needs to be eight inches. And if you half it from the center point of that circle, can we see this? Nope. It's out of focus, out of focus. Let's see, will it let me? There we go, look at that. So. This is the diameter, and that's eight inches. But this here, four inches, half of it, that's the radius. I'm just giving you a little geometry knowledge there. Wee! So we're going to make a circle. We're actually going to make two half circles um, that have the radius of four inches. So let's. Let's make one. We first need to, oh, we'll use a new piece of cardstock. And we're going to measure out on the bottom here. We know that uh, most pieces of um, letter size paper are 8.5 by 11 inches. But let's measure out. There's 4 inches right there. There's 8. Okay, so there's our radius. Uh, that's 4 inches, and that's 4 inches. Okay, and what we're going to do is we're going to make a circle. Um, let's also, I got an idea, let's make a limit line up at the top because the radius, uh, the radius goes all the way around, right? So let's do four inches here and four inches here. This will be the limit of where our circle goes, the outer edge of it. Mm -hmm. Okay, so how are we going to make a circle within this shape? You ask me, you say, Matthew, hey. I do not understand. Why are you doing all these rectangle lines? Well, we need to contain our circle within that rectangle, right? So the radius will go up to here four inches. See? So we're going to do that. So how do we make those curve lines? How are we going to do that? Well, I got an idea. First, we're going to take a piece of string that we, I told you to get. Let's take a piece of string. Where's the end of the string, though? That's always rough here. Where is it? Without making a huge mess. Look at, look at what I've done to the string already. <laughs> Let's take a pair of scissors. We're going to cut it. I'm going to make sure it's, you know, I don't know, a little much longer than um, it's tieable. And then what we're going to do is we're going to tie one end to our pencil, kind of like this. I did not get any Boy Scout um, patches for tying or Cub Scout. I was a Cub Scout. I think I only lasted like a, I think I lasted a year on Cub Scouts and then I gave up. Sorry. It was cool. And I really liked, I liked going, I, you know what I loved about Cub Scouts was um, I loved all the cool craft stuff. I loved the book that you used to get and you could learn all the different things, but I just, I was a lame kid. So I just, I, I, I didn't, I didn't end up doing them because I was, well, I was lazy. Okay. I'll admit it. I was lazy. Um, and what we're going to do is we're going to hold this. See how it's taped to this pencil? So it's kind of like it's on a leash. Oops. Hey, you got off your leash. Don't get off your leash, pencil. Um, so we're going to hold it and make it with our finger. See how I'm holding it like that? I'm pressing down. We're going to hold it so that it's only at, it only goes to four inches. So just like that. See how that pencil it only goes to four inches right now from the center? And then watch. We're just going to go like this. We're going to make a circle all the way around. See how we did that? Just made that. So now that we've made this circle, which is really awesome, we're going to cut it out real careful like, real careful like, just like that. And you know what we're going to do? We're going to make a second one. We need two of these circles. I'm just going to trace it. It doesn't have to be super perfect. And you can also use um, a compass. If you have a compass, you know, to, to make 
um, a perfect circle, but this is good enough. This is just gonna go on the outside of our um, honeycomb tissue paper decoration. It's sort of a, um, as sort of protection. Okay, so we've got two of these. Look at that, one and two. Now, what I think we should do first before we get started on this, is we need to make some little hole, uh, holes on the front, top, and the bottom. And um, I'm gonna just use a hole punch. If you have a hole punch, that's really great. Um, we're gonna do one right here on this end. And I just used, if you, if you see what I did, I just stacked them one on top of the other. One, two. So now they both have holes in them. Let's bring out our now dried stack of tissue paper. What we're going to do is we're going to lay this piece right on top, just like that. This is one of the half circles, right? What I'm going to do is I'm going to glue it to the top, just like this. I'm going to make a little Mm -hmm. yeah, -e. yeah. You don't have to go crazy with the glue as long as you kind of draw it into spot. There we go. Just like that. We're going to glue it right into place and see how it, it really fits within that rectangle, which is really nice. So it's glued on that side. What we're going to do is we're going to take that hole punch again and we're going to punch through the hole right here. Let's see if I can do this. See me? See how it, I'm going to do it right where the hole is. See how I did it? You can do it right where the hole is, and you're going to punch. Let's see, did it go through? Let's make sure it went through. Ooh, it looks like it did. Look, it went right through that. Oh, that's so cool. Now, if it's a little hard for you, if you're not strong enough to do it, get somebody who is, you know, whatever, whoever's in your house. If you have a, I don't know, um, a gigantic robot from outer space, uh, you know, uh, a very strong brother or sister, um, you know, parents, whatever, whoever's in the house. There we go. And right where that hole that we punched in the cardstock, we're going to punch again through the tissue. I couldn't remember the word. I couldn't remember. There we go. Punched right through it. Now, if you don't have a hole punch, you could use something really sharp to poke through there if you want, but what we're going to do is we need to poke a hole through there because eventually we're going to put some string through there just to hold all of this together, make sure it stays together. So um, that's why we need holes there. All right? So we did that side. Now what we need to do, turn this over, and let's glue, let's glue our other, let's glue this side, right into place. What we're going to do is we're going to lay our cards off right where the holes are, just like that. And I already put some glue on this one. We're going to put a little more. We're going to put it on the edges, just like this and there. And then we're going to make sure that you line up those holes right. See how I lined up those holes? See that? Press it down. <clears throat> And let it dry for a little bit. Okay, so now we've got this sandwiched in between the two pieces of cardstock, and we have our um, our layers of tissue paper. But first, we're going to need to kind of tie this all together. Let's use a little string, right like this. And we're going to also use this. This could also be we could if we use a little longer string, we could even use it for. Um, hanging our, our tissue paper decoration if you want. Um, but we're going to need to also use it to, um, to just tie it all together to make sure that those sheets don't, don't try to escape. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to take one side and knot it on the bottom. And, and it doesn't need to have extra hanging on there. See how I did that? Let's do the other one. But let's this time, let's this time, um, use a longer piece so we can use it as a as as sort of like to hang from so we're gonna take this put it through the hole just like that knot it a couple times again I don't 
I'm not the best at nodding things because I wasn't a very good Cub Scout. But um, I'm sure you can do it better than me, right? Right, right, right. Okay, and, and I left it a little longer so we can hang it. So there's a little bit long extra screen. Okay, next up, we need to take some scissors. Let's pull back here. Ooh, what a mess. Look at my, you gotta keep your workspace clean, don't you? All right, so let's get started here. We are going to cut out around the edges here. And we're going to also cut, well, that's pretty good on the bottom there. I think that's good. What we may do is we may just, we're going to be very careful of those strings, but we're just going to cut it this extra bit right here off. There we go. I'm going to cut a little bit of this extra off. That's very nice. Be careful of your string. Don't cut it. And then we're going to cut around this edge. Watch how I do this. I'm going to give it some space around that edge. See, I'm very careful. Now, it's a little hard to cut with when it's so thick. So use some big scissors. Little scissors won't work as well. So you need to use some big scissors. See, I'm just cutting around the edge. And I'm not cutting into that cardstock. Yeah, I just cut around. I gave it sort of a um, uh, an edging. And this we can get rid of. This is just scrap. All right, so now we are ready to open it. Ooh. So I've let my glue dry. And you want to make sure, too, that the, 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 the string here isn't too tight. Because you want this to be able to fold back on itself. And look at what. See, it should fold back on itself. Like that. Look at what we've made. Look at that. Oh, my gosh. Isn't that beautiful? Look at that. We made our very own tissue paper honeycomb decoration and you can make any colors you could add stuff to it like if you wanted to make a character you could put you know a head or arms onto it or do whatever you want I just like it like this I think it's pretty like this Ooh, I like it I like the rainbow too that I think that looks pretty cool so there we have we made our very own oh man that's cool I don't know, I get really excited when I see stuff like this, because this is something I, and you know, some of the spots there didn't quite go together as well as they could have, but that's okay. Overall, it looks pretty cool. I love it, and you can hang it. You can hang it up like this, and you show people, oh, that's so cool. And then, when you want to have it open, you can just use some tape and tape it open. But look at that, ooh, that's so cool. So we made our very own tissue, um, tissue paper, honeycomb decoration and you know I said earlier that you could also if you wanted to make just stacks of, of paper without having to you know sew them together you can actually you know stack them up and do you know you could probably do hundreds and hundreds of them on top of each other and you could make like these garlands so you could pull them apart and also make like garlands so that they don't have to be necessarily in the shape of a, a half circle you can you know hang them up but I love that look how cool that is that's so cool. So you could make your very own decorations for a party. Um, so, hey, thanks for joining me today. This is a really fabulous, this is a fun actually. I, I just, I love this. This project is so cool because you could theme it to whatever you wanted to do. Look at that. Oh, I can hang it. I love that. It's so pretty. So this is our um, honeycomb tissue paper decoration you can use it as parties you can use it but for whatever i just love making stuff out of paper i hope you enjoyed making this this art project with me today you can make as many of these as you want Ooh, i think i'm gonna have to decorate the whole studio with these um if you enjoyed this project be sure to hit like and subscribe down below and if there's any projects you'd like me to do in the future just let me know you can either um you can let me know on instagram you can let me know um in the comments below or you can even um contact me via my website matthewreinhardt.com and just send me a message and say hey could you do this for a project and i'll be all like hey i'll do it fun times see you next time class enjoy be nice be kind to everyone look out for everyone it's a weird time and we've got to be kind right we got to be good to each other because we're all in it together. All right? See you next time. Bye-bye.